All right, this is my very first Amazon lace front wig. So let's see how this is. This is from Charisma. And this is just a red lace front long straight wig. And uh, usually I order from actual wig sites. So this is going to be my first experience. I have not looked at the wig yet. So let me see if I can open this. So you get this little card, this instruction manual, and a wig cap. And this is the wig. That is an awful small package. I'm going to need two hands for this, I think. Let me see. Hold on. Maybe not. Ooh. That is a pretty color. This is the same color as my half and half wig. The actual red one, not the brown one that I originally got. So this is a very pretty color. They have it all wrapped up all nicely in here. Sorry about that. I'm trying to hold my phone with one hand and show you guys the other. This is the lace. And this is the wig. This is actually really beautiful. Now, a lot of the reviews say that this wig is very thick. And it is quite thick. It feels about 150 density. It's not thin, but it's not overly thick. Like a lot of people said, oh, it's overly thick. I had to cut it. It's not overly thick. It is nice and heavy. And it feels really good quality, actually. So this is what the top of it looks like. And inside you have got a comb in the back, which I really love. And two combs in the side and one comb at the top. So I will be very eager to try this on and see what this looks like. And I will get back with you guys after I do that. Alright guys, my first Amazon wig review and I recorded uh, the unboxing or unbagging and I tried it on before I cut it and this is after I styled it. I cannot style wigs. I am not good at it. I don't know what I'm doing. But I tried anyway. I just took the scissors and I just did all the way down. And I did it in various places just to kind of make it not so, you know, straight at the bottom. Although it really wasn't, but it had that wig straightness. And I am no longer a fan of lace fronts because to me, they don't look very real. So I just stick with the ones with the bangs and I don't like my forehead showing anyway. But... I was going to cut bangs into this one, but then as I started cutting, I kind of actually really liked the way this looks. I don't have my hair pin on solidly, sorry, but uh, I kind of was liking the way it looks. Now, 
I've got a wig cap on. I still don't really know how to wear wigs. <laughs> um, so on the side, it's still, it's a little bit loose right here. Uh, I didn't tighten the wig fully, but um, this is, you know, a good size. It's not too big or too small. And uh, so I didn't, I didn't tighten it fully, but that's fine. I don't really know what to do with these pieces anyway, but I do love that it's got, you know, I don't know what to do with this comb up here either. So I just use the combs on the side and the comb in the back. And then I put a little bit of glue here in the front so that it doesn't budge just to give me that added security. My eye is running today. Um, but yeah, so I cut it try to make it look a little bit more natural. Um, I was shaking it around earlier, trying to see the wig cap because I've bought wigs that cost hundreds of dollars and you just go like this and there's the wig cap. But on this one, you can barely feel the wig cap. It's buried really deeply in there. It takes a lot of digging to find that cap and it's so nice and thick. It's not too heavy, but it's just the right balance. And in person, this color changes from, it kind of looks auburn and then it looks bright red and then it looks orangish. So it's in between all three of those colors, but it is definitely red. It's just not fire engine red or like this, this red here, like it might look on camera. It is definitely red, but it's almost natural shade of red. Not quite, I mean, this nobody in nature has this color, but it's not very far off of it, if that makes sense. So I just thought I would share this with you guys. I am really, really pleasantly surprised by this wig. I didn't think that it would be good quality because I've never bought a wig off Amazon. I've never bought a wig. I When I first started getting wigs, I was getting them off of eBay and I just got the cheapest wig there was and they were the very, very plasticky. As soon as you put it on, it tangles $10 wigs and I was really disappointed, but I never really went out of the house. I only wore them for pictures and I actually still have some of them and they're really not very good. And um, I kind of thought this was going to be that quality but this is so much better. This is actually better than a lot of the wig companies I have ordered from, which I have reviewed in, you know, in one of my other videos. And, um, I just, I can't really believe the quality of this wig, especially for the price. I, I am so, so surprised. And it's not plasticky and it's not overly shiny. It's a little shiny, but not, not hugely. It definitely does not look like a Halloween wig. And if you style it right and don't do this like I just I keep doing, if you style it right and you know how to do it, I'm sure you can make it pass for real hair. I don't know if it looks real on me or not. I when I was styling it earlier, I was like, damn, that looks it looks good. It looks pretty real because it had a very harsh part in the middle, you know, as they do. And I just tried my best to make it look real. But in the end, I am really happy with this. Um, Every time I put on red hair, it makes me miss having red hair. And then I put on green hair, and then I miss having green hair. And I'm not going to do half red and half green because that's too Christmassy. But I'm working on green hair right now, so I will just stick with red for wigs. But um, in the picture especially, I thought that this wig was going to be very costumish and very unrealistic. But I am so surprised. I just really wanted to make a video and share this. Um, you guys definitely check it out. Definitely. I would risk. I, I would definitely, it's not even a risk. I would definitely buy from them because it is such a good freaking wig. I'm going to wear this out to the store. Actually, I'm not even going to change just my contacts and, um, head out to the store and I'm super stoked. This is probably one of my favorite wigs at the moment. And that's saying something cause I own a lot of wigs.